This is the best day in all of Diablo Immortal, ladies and gentlemen, because today your boy is going to switch classes off of the Barbarian. I am absolutely sick of the Barbarian. I've made a million videos talking about this. I cannot wait to play another class. Now, here's the thing. Originally, I was gonna go uh, either Demon Hunter or Crusader. And I was thinking, okay, let's go another one of these strength classes. Let's try another one of these. And we absolutely could do this, but I'm not going to do this. What I'm actually doing is I'm coming back home to the Necromancer temporarily. Now there's a few reasons why. Uh, I decided to override all my previous decisions and do Necromancer for the next week. Because what I want to do is this is the week that Hell 4 comes available and we're gonna see the six set piece bonuses start to activate. In my real opinion, that's actually gonna change the game a lot and I have a lot of catching up to do. I was very behind. If you didn't know, I was gone actually over the weekend, even though videos came out, I've been gone three days. I went to a music festival. It's why I look like a hippie right now and just came back. I'm way behind. I'm like at 130% bonus experience. So I've got to grind like 24 hours straight. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna swap to Necromancer. I'm gonna go live instantly and we're gonna be doing sort of an uncapped subathon type of stream where I'm just gonna go, 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 go. Cause I've gotta catch up all the way from level 130 to level 150. That's right, I'm gonna try to grind nonstop and get as far ahead as I possibly can because the Hell 6, or Hell, not Hell 6, good Lord, that would take forever. Hell 5 is right around the corner, which gives us our six piece green sets, which are gonna make the power go through the roof. So I decided, I just went and kind of relaxed. I had some fun, I came back. I want to play Necromancer again. I love the Necromancer, I want to play it again, and I want to try the new Hell piece set. So we're gonna try the Necromancer, and then we can go the Wizard, and all of our gear that we farmed from the Hell sets will swap from the Necromancer to the Wizard. There's another reason I'm doing this too, because I realized if I go Demon Hunter and Crusader, I'm gonna test out all these six piece sets on these people. Then when I swap to wizard, I'm gonna have to regrind them all again. And we're just going to hell four. These gears gonna last for a while. So I want to grind the hell four gear in the attribute that I'm actually gonna be using on the main classes I'm gonna be using, meaning Necromancer and Wizard. And for that reasons, we are now going back to the Necromancer. We will go to the wizard the next week after. Okay, so that's where we're at in terms of decisions made. Now we don't get to re-customize our person when we go back to them. So when we class change back to them, cost free, free uh, change remaining one. We're going from the Barbarian to the Necromancer. The following cosmetics are bound to your current class. Cos aspects of justice. Oh no, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be bound because I didn't collect it yet. Um, that's kind of unfortunate. So it's bound when you buy it, not when you unlock it. Oh, that's a huge, Oh, that's a huge bummer, dude. That's actually like a huge bummer. I really liked the cosmetics um, for the Necromancer too. I really wanted those on the other class. I, I, I don't like that at all, but we get the Paragon Point reset. And now we're gonna go ahead and get back in the Necromancer. Now we're also gonna do is we're gonna have to see, do all of our essences stay? I know that's a really common question. People are gonna want to know that everything stay uh, together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. It looks like I've got my golden cosmetics there already. We're gonna go back to the essence person and we're gonna see right off the bat, do we have all of our essences? You can see all of the previous gear doesn't work anymore. I have the, uh, the reserve gear. It swapped me back from strength to kind of this reserve gear or intelligence, accessories and vitality, fortitude, all that. There's intelligence, so it swapped me back to act to that. And then my inventory here, I've got all the old pieces of gear that we're no longer using. So here we go to the essence transfer. We're gonna go here and look at that. Just like that, I've got all of my essences to, oh man, so good being home, the quote Jar Jar Bay. Thanks. The next best part of this is salvaging all of this legendary barbarian gear that I just don't care about. Just yes, get rid of all of it. Oh my God, it feels so good. Let me just, let me just click through all of this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it at all. Get rid of literally all of it. Okay, keep the triple because maybe we can, I think what we can do is transfer some of the stats, but maybe, you know, obviously not the essences. I believe, but that's what we're gonna find out here. So we're gonna crunch all of this stuff. And obviously uh, the gear that we have, the reserve gear that we got off of, um, let's see here. Oof, man, getting rid of this stuff's gonna be painful. Okay, well, let's just get rid of this for now. But the reserve gear that we got, you can't transfer stuff on. But what I wanna try here is can we go, if I go to the stash, okay, and I get my old gear out and it's like, okay, I want my old gear. Let's get this here. We got our, our oh, oh my God, some of the old gear is actually even still better. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, some of this gear is literally still better. Oh man, it's been that long and this gear can still literally be better. Okay, so what I wanna know is if I take out some of this gear, right? Like let's say, let's take out the pieces that we're actually gonna use. Let's say like this, can I transfer what used to be the old 
owed pieces to it. So let's see, if I go blacksmith here, okay, and we go uh, rank transfer, okay, and if I go, let's put on, I'll tell you what, let's do it this way. Let's put on the old gear. So if I equip, let's say the old helmet, then we know these are upgrades, so we'll equip those ones, okay? Um, but then if we go and we go like, let's say chest piece, okay? And then we have a triple chest piece, right? Okay, 100, 100, and I'm wearing the worst one. So now can I go here and I go services and I go rank transfer. Can I, can I go like this to my chest piece? Nope, can't can't do it that way, huh? Can I go, can I do it like this? Can I grab this one and transfer rank from, nope, only from the other one there. How about this piece? Can I transfer before? Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I can transfer uh, the upgrades. I can transfer the upgrades, but I can't transfer. Okay, hold on, let's try about this one. Pierce hammer plus the reservist edge will give me the upgrades, but it's not giving me anything. Okay, so I can't really, I can't really transfer. I was hoping I could transfer the stats, not from the reserve piece, but from a barbarian piece to a mage piece. Because if you look here, I have these pants here guided by maggots, right? So let's see, maybe, what if I equip these, okay? So we transfer, we got rank 12. So if I go here, then we go back here. How about now? Rank transfer, pants guided by maggots. It won't let me do anything, right? It won't let me do anything with them. Whereas this chest plate, the, that's the reserve one. That's the 100, 100 class barbarian. That's that's the reserve, but yeah, I can't I can't actually transfer any of these pieces, can I? Um, no, it doesn't let me. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna have to. It just just like all classes, when you go back to the classes, you have to regrind your legendary uh, new pieces. You can equip your old ones, right? But you can't transfer like your barbarian triple stat to your necromancer double stat pants or whatever. Like I can't transfer the attributes if I wanted to. I, I knew that was probably obvious, but I just wanted to see it. I just wanted to confirm that for a fact for myself. Oh, it feels so good being back. Do I not have any shoulders though? Oh no, am I stuck with the reserve shoulders? Please tell me I got some shoulders somewhere, baby. Tell me I got some shoulders somewhere because I need the I need the upgrades. Did I save any shoulders? There they are. All right, whatever. What What's another like 10, 12? CR loss. I've already lost like almost a hundred CR just from switching classes. But my God, do I do I feel so much happier already? Yes. Where are the shoulders? Yes, please. I don't even have to essence transfer them. They're literally perfect already. You see, this one's the right one. All right. Maybe maybe these are already the right essences. Maybe I don't even have to inherit anything. We got bone armor. We got guided by maggots, Vesper guard, skeletons, damage, mage, mage, mage. You know what? This literally looks all fine. Let's go, boys. I'm so much happier. Okay, we're back on Necro for a bit. We got to finish up all the sets, uh, be the Necro God we were born to be, finish the sets, get a better guide out for Necro now that Hell 4 is out, redo it. Then we're gonna go probably check out Wizard after that, and then maybe Demon Hunter and Crusader. I'm gonna be honest. I realized after swapping all these classes, like I really like ranged classes, which really limits me to Necromancer, Wizard, and Demon Hunter. I think his classes I'll enjoy. Like the Monk was all right. The Barbarian I absolutely hated. I talked to people who played the Crusader. I think I would hate it too. And my best friend's playing the Demon Hunter. So I know I'm gonna like the Demon Hunter. I know I'm gonna like the Wizard because I have a free to play Wizard that I worked on. It's almost level 60 now. It's like 56, I think. And then the Necromancer is just me entirely. So I'm gonna try out the new set stuff, see how the Necro is. And we're gonna be doing a live stream, okay? I haven't been live in multiple days, haven't had a chance to say hi to you guys, come on by if you're watching this video, twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction. We're gonna do a nice, big, fatty, long live stream we haven't done in a while, and I'm excited to see you guys, okay? Love y'all, and I'll see you on the live stream.